In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the tools to measure and mark up any amendments that you would like done using the Autodesk viewer. If we click on the proposed plans, it'll take you to the drawings that we've sent you. And again, we've got the same toolbar on the bottom of the screen. So the home button just brings you back to this. The fit button fits it to the page. The pan tool allows you to move it left and right, up and down, any direction. The zoom tool allows you to zoom in and out of the drawings. The scroll wheel does the same. And then we've got the measure tool and the markup tool. When you're using the markup tool, once you finish marking your drawing up, you need to either save so that we can see the amendments or cancel. So if we go to the measure tool, first thing you need to do is click on settings, which is here, and make sure that the unit type is set to millimeters and enable free measure is checked. Just click on the circle, it'll highlight to blue and move to the right and you know that it's on. Press the settings button again and it'll take you off that. So when you click on the measure tool, we've got distance, angle, area, arc, calibrate, delete, and settings. So to measure the distance of a room or a space, you take the tool and you can see it, it snaps, snaps to the wall, snap to the wall, and then you need to left click and then drag that line across to the other side. You'll see the little right angle just pops up and you know that your line is square. If you haven't got the right angle, you can see the line is jagged and you know it's not going to be a true measurement. So you need to hover and get the square and click again. And you can see we've got the distance in millimetres across the kitchen. If we do it again, we click on the wall. And you can see the right angle there, little symbol, click again, and you've got the measurement for the width. So that's how to measure the distances of the room. If you want to measure the area, you need to click on the area tool. And it's pretty much the same process. It doesn't have to be a, a, a square conventional shape. You can measure the area of something like this lounge, which is a, a little bit different. So it's the same process. It will automatically snap. You'll feel it snap to, to the, uh, the correct place. So if you click and click, you can see that the area is starting to be defined. Click. Click. Keep using the left mouse button to click into place. You can see that this measurement comes out in millimeters. If you want to see that in meters, go to settings again and change it down to meters. You can see that the lounge is about 10 and a half square meters. If you require any amendments, these can be marked up on the drawings directly in the Autodesk viewer. To do this, decide where your amendments need to be, zoom in so that you can see them, and then click on the markup tool. Within the markup tool, you can use a pencil, an arrow, a cloud, or a text box. Pencil will give you a line. If you're not happy with that line, you can undo. The arrow will give you an arrow. The cloud you can highlight something with a cloud. And the text box will allow you to type. So if we go back to the arrow tool, and I think we can change the line weight on that to the smallest, just so it looks a little bit neater. If we wanted to move this door, if we decided we didn't want this door here and we wanted to position it here, we could put an arrow here and we can then put a text box here and say, 
move door to new position. And then we could use the pencil, for example, and we could change the color. So let's give it a blue color. So we can put some little dotted lines to show that we want this door here. If we then go to save, that will be sent to us and we'll be able to see that amendment. You press cancel because you, you don't want that amendment after all, it will take you back to the home screen. Press save. You can see here now in the comments, we've got the amended, we can see the amended plan. So if we now go back to if we close the markup, go back to the proposed 3D, you can do the same process within the 3D model. So if we go into the first person again, and we zoom in, have a look at this inside, first person. So we're in the kitchen. So this is the door that we were going to position here. So if we wanted to perhaps, we're going to reposition that door, for example. Just pan across there. Then that would impact on this space here. So we might want to measure this. Use the measure tool. And we can take a measurement from that worktop to the cooker. Got the little right angle icon again. And you can see we've not changed the um, settings. So it's automatically reading it in the default, which is decimal feet. We need to change that to millimeters. Click settings again. You can see we've got 975 millimeters to the cooker. So if we wanted to move the door, we might have to move the cooker. We can check the dimensions of these units. We zoom in a little bit so we make sure we're on the right point. A 300 mil. And we can do the same with these units as well. 500. And if we wanted to highlight that we were taking that door out, we could mark up the same. And we could put a big cross through it if we so wished. Then we could save that. And again, we've got the 3D that will come back to us. We'll be able to see those amendments and we'll be able to get those sorted for you.